Susan Shepard Howell reading for Americans for the Arts. There's just not enough art in our schools. No wonder people think Louis Armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon. It's a long way from the Apollo Theater to the Apollo program, but for Louis Armstrong, giant leaps for mankind were simply a matter of course. For more information about the benefits of arts education, please visit us on the AmericansfortheArts.org. Just like great Louis Armstrong, all you need is a little brass. Art, ask for more. My name is Henry Novas, and I'll be re reading for America for the Arts. There's just not enough arts in our school. No wonder people think Louis Armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon. It is a long way from Apollo Theater for, to the pro, Apollo program. Just for Louis Armstrong, giant leaps for mankind were simply a matter of course. For more information about the benefits of art education, please visit us on AmericanForTheArts.org. Just like great Louis Armstrong, all you need is brass, art, ask for There's not enough arts in our school. No wonder people think Louis Armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon. It was a long, very long way from Apollo Theater to the Apollo program. But for the Louis Armstrong, giant leap from mankind were simply a matter of choice. For more information about the benefits of art education, please visit us on the AmericanForTheArts.org. Just like great Louis Armstrong, all you need is a little brass, art, ask for more. Uh, Susan Shepard Howell for Creekside Vino as the man. Kendall Wolford reading for women. Katrina Felis reading for the waiter. G. Dustin Sanborn re reading for the donut and tags. At last, a night without kids. The babysitter. She has all the numbers and I alerted the fire department like you told me. Jamie's diaper. Let's go home. Relax. I changed her diaper before I put her to bed. Tommy's homework. I gave the sitter explicit instructions. Can I bring you two something to drink? A bottle of Creekside Vino, please. Excellent choice. I'll be right back with your Creekside Vino. We're staying? You deserve some time off. The kids will be fine. Besides, I just ordered Creekside Vino. That's quite a treat. I feel like an adult again. Listen to me. I'm speaking in sentences longer than three words. That calls for a celebration. <clears throat> Creekside Vino is a delicious sparkling wine suitable for any occasion, even if you're celebrating a night out without the kids. Cheers. I love you. And this Creekside Vino is delicious. You know, we should go out more often. I'll reserve the babysitter. Make every occasion a special one with Creekside Vino. Hello, my name is Aaron Razor, and I'll be reading for man. Do we even need to sleep? <laughs> yes. My name is Erica Brownwell, and I'll be reading for the part of woman. Susan Shepard Howell reading the part of the waiter in Creekside Vino. Brittany Bell reading Tags and Donuts for Creekside Vino. At last, a night without the kids. The babysitter. She has all the numbers, and I alerted the fire department, like you told me. Jamie's diaper. Let's go home. Relax. I changed her diaper before I put her to Tommy's bed. Tommy's homework. I gave the sitter explicit instructions. <clears throat> Can I bring you two something to drink? A bottle of Creekside Vino, please. Excellent choice, sir. I'll be right back with your Creekside Vino. We're staying? You deserve some time off. The kids will be fine. Besides, I just ordered Creekside Vino. <sighs> That's Quite a treat. I feel like an adult again. Listen to me. I'm speaking in sentences longer than three words. <laughs> that calls for a celebration. Creekside Vino is a delicious sparkling wine suitable for any occasion. If you are celebrating a night out without the kids. Cheers. I love you. This is Creekside Vino is delicious. <laughs> we should go out more often. I'll reserve the babysitter. Make every occasion a special one with being the woman Tax, donuts, and promos, and duos. That's a lot, okay. <laughs> My name's Skip Rocks, I'll be reading the man. I'm G. Dustin Sanborn, I'm reading the part for the donut and tags. Caitlin Crowley, reading for the waiter in Creekside Reno. Oh, hey. sorry. Sorry, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. I was recording anyway. Okay, direct? We're good. Okay. At last, a night without kids. The babysitter. She has all the numbers, and I alerted the fire department like you told me. 
Jamie's diaper. Let's go home. Relax. I changed her diaper before I put her to bed. Tommy's homework. I gave the sitter explicit instructions. Can I bring you something to drink? A bottle of Creekside Vino, please. Excellent choice. I'll be right back with your Creekside Vino. We're staying? You deserve some time off. The kids will be fine. Besides, I just ordered Creekside Vino. That's quite a treat. I feel like an adult again. Listen to me. I'm speaking in sentences longer than three words. That calls for celebration. Creekside Vino is a delicious sparkling wine suitable for any occasion, even if you are celebrating a night out without the kids. Cheers. I love you. And the Creekside Vino is delicious. We should go out more often. I'll reserve the babysitter. Make every occasion a special one with Creekside Vino. Monica de la Moria and I will be reading for the woman. Erica Brownwell, I'll be reading for the part of waiter. I'm Will Sims, reading Tags and Donuts. G. Dustin Sanborn, man. Ah, at last, a night without the kids. The babysitter. She has all the numbers, and I alerted the fire department like you told me. Jamie's diaper. Let's go home. Relax. I changed her diaper before I put her to bed. Tommy, homework. I gave the sitter explicit instructions. Can I bring you something to drink? A bottle of Creekside Vino, please. Excellent choice. I'll be right back with your Creekside Vino. Are we staying? You deserve some time off. The kids will be fine. Besides, I just ordered Creekside Vino. That's quite a treat. I feel like an adult again. Listen to me. I'm speaking in sentences longer than three words. Well, that calls for a celebration. Creekside Vino is a delicious Creekside Vino is a delicious sparkling wine suitable for any occasion, even if you are celebrating a night out without the kids. Cheers. I love you. And this Creekside Vino is delicious. We should go out more often. Oh, I will reserve the babysitter. Make every occasion a special one with Creekside Vino. My name is Aaron Razor, and I'll be reading for Leela. My name is Julian Ibarrondo, and I'll be reading for Fry. I'm Will Sims, reading for Professor Farnsworth. My name is Eddie Quillefin, I'll be reading for Amy. My name is Taylor Dinn, I'll be reading for Zoidberg. <laughs> Gee, that's the sad board, and I'm reading for Bender. Bender's the best. Bender's the greatest. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Fry, but the anchovy's been extinct since the 2200s. Wait, what? Oh my, yes, fished to death. Just about the time your people arrived on Earth, wasn't it, Zoidberg? I'm not on trial here. So none of you guys have has had any anchovies. Oh man, you don't know what you're missing. They were all these salty, oily, and they they melted in your mouth and Stop! Stop! I I admit it. My people ate them all. We kept saying one more can't hurt. And then they were gone. We're sorry. I just wished I could have showed you guys how great they were. I may be rich, but still I can I can't buy back all the things I missed from the 20th century. Maybe you're forgetting just how rich you are, eh? Hmm. Eh? So, what do you think? Well, I know you spent a lot of money on these place fry, but it's awfully primitive. The floors are made of such hard wood. Hey, get a load of this pathetic 20th century TV. What's wrong with it? Well, aside from causing eye cancer, these things have a, have a lousy definition picture. That's true. On a TV like this, I bet you couldn't even make out my obscene tattoo. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. Sold! Yes! I just don't get it. Who is this Ted Danson, and why would you pay $10,000 for a skeleton? My name is Aaron Razor, and I'll be reading for Mantis. My name is Eddie Quilfa, and I will be reading for Poe. G. Dustin Sanborn, reading for Viper. My name is Taylor Dinn, and I'll be reading for Crane. Brittany Bell, reading for Tigress. Oh! Oh, I thought you said acupuncture would make me feel better. Trust me, it will. It's just not easy finding the right nerve points under all this fat fur. I was gonna say fur. Sure you were. Who am I to judge a warrior based on his size? I mean, look at me. I'm over here. Ow! Maybe you should take a look at this again. Oh, okay. Ow, don't! <laughs> Stop, stop, y'all! Look, I know Master Shifu's trying to inspire me and all, but 
if I didn't know any better, it's, I'd say he was trying to get rid of me. I know, he can seem kind of heartless. But you know, it wasn't always like that. According to legend, there was once a time when Master Shifu actually used to smile. No! Yes. But well, that was before... Before what? Before Tai Lung. Uh, yeah, we're not really supposed to talk about him. Well, he's going to stay here. He should know. Guys, guys, I know all about Tai Lung. He was a student, the, the first ever to master the thousand uh, scrolls of, uh, of, of Kung Fu, and, and, and then he turned bad, and, and now he's in jail. He wasn't just a student. Hi, I'm Will Sims, reading the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, The Final Problem. It is with a heavy heart that I take up my pen to write these, the last words in which I shall ever record the singular gifts by which my friend Sherlock Holmes was distinguished. In an incoherent and, as I deeply feel, an entirely inadequate fashion, I have endeavored to give some account of my strange experiences in his company, from the chance which first brought us together at the period of the study in Scarlet, up to the time of his interference in the matter of the naval treaty, an interference which had the unquestionable effect of preventing a serious international complication. Hi, my name is Eddie Cleofa, and I will be reading from The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, The Final Problem. It is with a heavy heart that I take up my pen to write these last words in which I shall ever record the singular gifts by which my friend, Mr. Sherlock Holmes, was distinguished. In an incoherent and as deeply feel in an entirely inadequate fashion, I have endeavored to give these some account of my strange experiences in his company from the chance which first brought us together at the period of study in Scarlet up to the time of his interference in the matter of the Naval Treaty and interference which had, to, which had the unquestionable effect of preventing a serious international complication. My name's Katrina Felis and I'll be reading from the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. It is with a heavy heart that I take to my pen to write these last words in which I shall ever record the singular gifts by which my friend, Mr. Sherlock Holmes, was distinguished in an incoherent and, as I deeply feel, an entirely inadequate fashion, I have endeavored to give some of my account of my strange experiences in his company. From the chance which first brought us together at the period of the study in Scarlet up to the time of his interference in the matter of the Naval Treaty, and interference which had the unquestionable effect of preventing a serious international complication. <laughs>